Number two is Coastal Charm. She's owned by HWL Partnership, trained by Steve Hobby, and ridden by Martine Garcia. Three is Greg Giles and Joanne Hillebrand's Let's Cruise, trained by Mac Robertson and ridden by Eduardo Gallardo. Four lovely ride campaigns for John Holloman, Flying P Stable and Larry Nafee. Robertino Diodoro trains Christian Torres up. Five is Gunning, owned by Grandview Equine, trained by Kenny McPeak, Francisco Arietta, the jockey. Six is Butterbean, owned by Magdalena Racing. And William Klimaszewski, trained by Kenny McPeak, Mitchell Merle, up. And number seven is Tap Dance Fever, owned by Medallion Racing. And Black Ridge Stables, LLC, Brett Calhoun Trains and Isaac Castillo Rides. And they're off. Lovely ride came out running, but so did Coastal Charm on the inside, and those two are going to go head and head early on. The normally speedy Let's Cruise is in behind that pink pair and is angling outside. Gunning is caught outside of Let's Cruise. Then a length and a half to Butterbean and Tap Dance Fever trails the field as Coastal Charm and Martin Garcia with a narrow lead to the backstretch over Christian Torres and Lovely Ride. Then a length and a quarter, and it's Let's Cruise who's three deep out there racing in third. Butterbean scoots up the inside. Gunning on the stretch out is next to last, and Tap Dance Fever is right with that back crew. Six of them only separated by about three and a half lengths as Coastal Charm leads it up the backstretch here and has widened that lead to about three quarters of a length now. Over Lovely Ride, the heavy favorite sits outside in a chasing position, and then comes Gunning and Tap Dance Fever, Let's cruise. Butterbean has dropped back and tailed off to trail the field here as they round the turn and come to the top of the short stretch in this one-mile dig a diamond. Coastal Charm leads the way by a half length. And lovely ride to the outside is being called on for run. Followed to the outside by Gunning and to the inside by Tap Dance Fever. She needs her way through. Then comes Butterbean. They straighten away. At the top of the short stretch, and Coastal Charm is trying to scoot clear. Here comes Gunning down the middle of the racetrack. Lovely ride. It might be settling for third. It's Coastal Charm in the Dig a Diamond. Coastal Charm over a photo for second between Gunning and Butterbean. Lovely ride was fourth. In the winner's circle for the Dig a Diamond Stakes, Coastal Charm, a riding triple today for Martin Garcia. Coastal Charm is a four-year-old ghost zapper filly from the mare Malibu Breeze, bred by Gary and Mary West Stables in Kentucky, and owned by the Walmsley and Lamberth Partnership of HWL Partnership. Steve Hobby, the winning trainer. Time in one minute thirty nine point zero three seconds. A very nice 8-1 to one upset in the inaugural running of the Dig a Diamond here on the Saturday afternoon. First piloted by Jockey Martin Garcia having a very good day and a nice confident ride. Tell us about your trip, Martin. Well, first of all, I got to say some thank you to Mr. Steven. I want to say something about Tyler. The, I mean, sorry that he's not here because the last three horses that I've been riding, they was hints and then they gave me a chance to to ride his horses and then, of course, I'm gonna give you something. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Steve told me he's just riding the filly like you own the filly. With a lot of confidence, she's doing good and he's like, just get first to the finish line. And she just break really sharp and then she put me there and then I just let him, when I asked, she just, 
show me what she always show. So thank you to Mr. Steven and of course owners. Well, it's very nice of you to extend gratitude to Tyler Bays. We wish him well. Felicidades on a great day and good luck in the next race. We'll let you go get ready. Good luck. So thank you. We miss you, Tyler. <laughs> He'll be back very soon. Now, Steve, congratulations. Stakes debut, beating a very confident field. She's speedy as well. Did you think if you got the jump on Lovely Ride that you might be able to get the job done? I actually didn't expect to get to the go front. I really didn't. I thought the filly of the McPeaks would go with uh, Lovely Ride, and we'd be made them right behind them. But she broke so sharp, and we had the rail. So, you know, Martine did the exactly right thing. You know, go on. Well, eight to one stakes debut. Mr. Walmsley, come on in here, sir. I know you have to be very, very happy and very confident ringing that bell for thoroughbred retirement. Scoot on in here. What are your thoughts overall on her performance today? Well, it's just fantastic. This is one of those years that you have every 30 years, something like that. So we're thrilled to death. We're thrilled to death with the performance of the horse. And I can't believe we claimed him for last September for 30,000 or her. Well, she is worth her weight in diamonds. Coastal Charm scoring the 8-1 to upset in the inaugural running of the Dig a Diamond Stakes.